Justin Turner was a student in my genetics class last fall, 2014. Uh, and Justin uh, had noticed that a lot of students would take their phones out of their pocket and place it on the microscope eyepiece and try and take a picture of what they're looking at under the microscope. And that's how it began. The just-in-time adapter was born. Justin is a sophomore majoring in biology at Missouri Western. He said he also realized he was spending so much time on microscopes that it hurt. When you stare into the ocular lens for hours, you can get a headache. And also, if you want to share what you're looking at, say you have something that's special, you have to get it just right and hope it doesn't swim off for your friend to see it or your professor to see it. So this is what he came up with, the just-in-time adapter. There are other adapters on the market for this, but his is original in one major way. It's universal for any phone to any microscope, and you can even fit it up to an iPad mini. Ultimately, um, I was so impressed by it, uh, and two other colleagues in the department were impressed by it, uh, that I used biology operational money to buy 12 of them that are used by students in my class this semester and will be used by my class for several semesters and will be used by students in other classes. The device is simple, yet extremely effective. Anyone that's ever tried putting a camera phone up to a microscope knows that it's really difficult to get your phone oriented in the right way for it to work. I saw that people had had the idea to 3D print it and people had tried to come up with their own designs, but I printed a few out and they didn't work. Um, so I took some pieces from other people's designs and made my own design with them. The adapters are a big hit with his classmates and they use them all the time. And from the looks of it, students are going to be using them for years to come. You can already tell uh, that these are going to be a bigger part of what happens in my class in the fall semester. I'm going to be more deliberate about you know, having the students use these and taking pictures under the microscope. Justin doesn't plan on patenting his adapter. He says he's too busy with school trying to get into KCU Med School and that patenting an adapter like this can cost thousands of dollars. Jeremy Lyons, Fox 26 KNPN.